Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about relational operators. What are relational operators? Well, as always, we will concentrate on the name relational operator. It means that this operator operates on variables expressions by checking what relation is between them, right? So, if I have two variables, for example, int a equals 10, int b equals 5, and I want to see how they are related to each other, so for example, if they are equal, I need to use relational operators. When we want to check if two variables are equal, we should do something like that. C out a equal sign equal sign b and add line. Two equal signs are representing equality in the C++ language. Remember that one equal sign is reserved for assigning values to variables. Remember about the difference because you might make many mistakes because of that, okay? And now I will try to compile, but as you can see, we have error here. You know, that angle brackets here um, are also operators and now our compiler is confused. As in the mathematic to solve problems like that, we should use parentheses. So I will add parentheses here and now compiler will know what to do and I will compile it and as you can see our result is zero. Why? The result of relation operation is always zero or one. One is representing like in bool variable true, zero is representing false. So we've just got informed by that zero in the cancel output, that value of variable A is not equal to uh, to value of variable B, right? Because our result was zero, right? Okay. So we can use that zero or one informations later by using something what is called conditional statements, but we'll talk about them later in other le lessons. Right now, let's talk about all relational operators. So this guy is true when both variables have the same value. Now let's talk about uh, that guy. I will cop copy that. Um, we are using instead instead of one equal sign exclamation mark and exclamation mark uh, is just saying that it is not equal, right? So it is true when uh, both variables do, do not do not have the same value. Let's compile it and as you can see it's true because 10 is not equal to b. So it's true. Okay, now Let's talk about that guy. And it is true when when value of variable A is greater than value of variable B. So in our situation it should be true, right? As you can see we have one here so everything is okay. Now next guy A so this is true when value of variable B is greater than value of variable A, right? So this should be zero. And as you can see, everything works fine. Now let's find out that guy. And when value A is greater than or equal And here instead, two value of variable b. Okay, so uh, it's okay, it should be true. If that variables were equal, 
it will be true also okay now that guy mm. so b is greater than or equal to value of variable a so it should be in our situation false we can also use exclamation mark to change value from two to false so from one to zero or zero to one and to do it we should do something like that for example uh, I will that add ex exclamation mark here and now I will say if that guy here if that result is zero change it to one if it's one change it to zero so uh, in our situation a is not equal to B so that guy will be true okay so that notation is the same as that guy okay that's all in the lesson thank you very much